Well, now that we know how to find empirical formula, let's talk about molecular formula. Finding the empirical formula in and of itself is actually not very helpful because it's not necessarily the real formula. The only reason we find empirical formula is to use it to find molecular formula. So step one is find the empirical formula. Well, we just learned how to do that. Step two is once you've got your empirical formula, find its mass, find its molar mass. So let's say, for instance, my empirical formula were CH. I would find the empirical formula's mass, its molar mass. 12.01 plus 1.01 is 13.02 grams per mole. And then in the problem, I would be given the molecular formula's mass, okay? And it will be some multiple of this. So maybe it's 26.04 grams per mole. Remember, this is given in the problem. So then you take the molecular formula's mass, 26.04, and divide it by the empirical formula's mass, and you will always get a whole number. If you don't get a whole number, you goofed it up. So I take that whole number, and I take it and multiply it by my empirical formula. So my real formula is C2H2. So let's say here's an example. Okay, you would be need to be given both of these things, the empirical formula, which is this, and the molar mass of the molecular formula, which is this. So step one is find the mass of your empirical formula. Okay, so if you add all that up, 12.01 plus 2 times 1.01 plus 16, you're going to get 30.03 grams per mole. Then take the molar mass you're given, okay? It's always the big number divided by the little number, okay? The molecular formula divided by the empirical formula, and you should always get a whole number, okay? And then you take that and you multiply that thing by 3. So C3H6O3, and now you've got the actual or real or molecular formula. So starting from scratch, I've got percentages. So I start by saying I have 85.7 grams of carbon and 14.3 grams of hydrogen. I want to find its empirical formula, so I say grams to moles, grams to moles, 1, 12.01 for carbon, 1.01 for hydrogen, so I get 7.14 moles of carbon, and I get 14.2 moles of hydrogen. Remember, next step, divide by the smallest number, divide by the smaller number. So my empirical formula is CH2. So I've got the empirical formula now. Now to find the molecular formula, I have to use the molar mass they gave me. So I take CH2 and I take 12.01 plus 2 times 1.01, and this comes out to be 14.03 grams per mole. So I take 42.08, the big number divided by the whittle number, 14.03, and this comes out to be 3. Remember, it has to be a whole number. I think it's probably 2.99, but that's a whole number. So I have to multiply this by 3, so C3H6. So now I've got the molecular formula, which is what my goal is.